the Madman! It's early in the meta of Kobolds and Catacombs, but this is a really cool new deck that's been going around the block. It revolves around Carnivorous Cube and Spirit Singer Umbra. A lot of new Kobolds and Catacombs cards here, uh, including Dark Pact, Kobold Librarian, Lesser Amethyst Spellstone, Carnivorous Cube, Possessed Lackey, Skull of the Minari, Rin the First Disciple, Master Oakheart, and Void Lord. So many cards are coming to make this deck possible. This is known as a cube block deck, however, I've made a few adjustments to it in order to also incorporate Master Oakheart. Master Oakheart is really powerful because it recruits a three attack minion, which is either Void Lord, which is really awesome, or Rin, which is still good, or Spirit Singer Umbra. And then a two attack minion, best option is Possessed Lackey. And then a one attack minion, uh, of which the only one in this deck is Tar Creeper. So you're always getting disgusting amounts of value with Master Oakheart. Idea of the deck is, it's a control deck, but also you get off to a really fast start. You get the Skull of Minari out, you can get out these five drops, nine drops. And there's a pretty awesome 25 damage combo with the deck. You have your Doom Guard possibly get pulled out from Skull of the Minari. This time it just happened to be on the board. You play the Umbra, you play the cube, uh, you summon two more Doom Guards. You gotta clear up a little bit of space here. Go ahead and uh, kill off these guys. Dark Pact, my happy little ooze here. Two more Doom Guards. That's pretty sweet. Enjoy this game, which showcases how this deck operates. Right, I'm gonna mulligan, expecting it to be Tempo Rogue, but there's quite a few different rogues out there. All of these cards are too slow against aggressive decks. I would have kept the file and I would have kept Hellfire, so this is a pretty good hand against an aggressive deck. Also, with Hellfire, the Lesser Amethyst Spellstone is a lot better. Uh, this card is very good, even if it just upgrades once. Looks like it is a classic Tempo Rogue. Your your villain from Wrath of the Lich King days, but we've got all these cool toys from Kobolds and Catacombs in order to deal with the rogue threat. Got a handful of AoE, which is good, but it's surprisingly not the best. It also wants like other things like Tar Creeper and Mistress of Mixtures. Pulling off to kind of a slow start, the Tar Creeper isn't really aggressive. Oh, perfect! So I got both of the Amethyst Spellstones, and I've got uh, the double upgrade in the hand, Librarian and Hellfire. Librarian also has a second usage. It's used to have the one health for the Defile, and in order to clear with Defile, you just need to count up. Uh, so this is one, two. So it clears these two. With three and a four, I could kill the five, as well as the three and the four. Uh, right now I'm in a slightly tough situation where if I tap and then I play Librarian, I'll overdraw because my hand has just uh, counter cards right now, counterplay cards. Play the Librarian, probably gonna pass afterwards. Next turn could just be Spellstone. Not worth using the coin to throw away for a hand slot. Also I couldn't just tap because I would overdraw, so I had to play the Librarian. The Librarian is usually worth keeping around. For the defile to bridge the one health into two health. So here I suppose a hellfire is good enough. I could use the spell stone on the tar creeper but that's not a priority target because this is just one attack. Uh, it's not really threatening enough to Hellfire either, but I have to use one of these cards and I've gotten dealt too many AoEs. Too much of a good thing, really. But now this uh, Spellstone is insane. 4 mana, heal 7, deal 7. Okay, 1, 2, 3. Really good Defile. Of course, that's the simplest type of defile. With time, hopefully you're able to finesse some better defiles. With the Prince Keliseth played, there will never be that good a defile offered. 
But it's worth mentioning his patches in his hand. So patches could be our bridge into a one again. Well, there's a one and two. Not. Ah, and I can even get out my lackey. So it's really important to clear off their stuff uh, before turn 7 for the Bone Mare. I have two choices here. I can either Defile and then Lackey, or I can Lackey and then Coin Defile. The reason why I might want a Lackey is because I can draw out a Void Lord, which might block a Leroy. I'll do it, because the 2-2 is not going to matter that much. Alternatively, this isn't that good a Defile. I could just play Lackey and then Dark Pact for the healing. That's actually probably best. There's no need to AoE this board. Alright, the Void Lord really sticks it up against a aggro deck. Against a tempo deck, in this case. Alright, now we can start considering uh, some pretty interesting defiles. So we have a 1, 2, 3. Uh, so I could hit this, make that a 4, and then defile the board. But again, we're not really in that pressing a need. I've got two single target uh, high damage ones. I can just go ahead and spellstone this and be fine. Uh, bring myself up to a very healthy total again. And then the coin master Oakart will absolutely crush the opponent. So that's the plan. Uh, librarian into uh, tap into spellstone. Worth mentioning, by the way, if I didn't have the spellstones. Generally, if you plan to tap and librarian, better to tap first and then librarian because if you tap, uh, you get twice the chance to upgrade your spellstone. By the way, if you librarian the spellstone, it does immediately upgrade. Nice little bonus. So, so in this case, since I already have both spellstones, I go librarian first. Lost that. Tap. Didn't matter what order I did it in. I'll do the trading to be a bit safer. So the next turn, Coin Oakheart. The only one attack minion in this deck is Tar Creeper, so pulling out the Creeper is already a value. Two attack minions, I can get Mistress of Mixtures, Cobalt Librarian, Possessed Lackey. Possessed Lackey is the best one. And then on three attack, there's Void Lord, there's Rin, and there's... Uh, Spirit Singer Umbra. Really good that Spirit Singer Umbra is in the hand because that means I cannot pull that one, which would be the only bad pull. So, this is a crushing amount of value. And when I said the only one attack was Tar Creeper, I lied. There's also uh, Thalnos here. Hey there, buddy. Would have preferred Tar Creeper. Thalnos is pretty good too, though. Good amount of value, not nearly as insane as the Void Lord. The Void Lord is what you really want to pull. Alright, so I'll burn a card here. But it's okay, because crushing amounts of value were obtained. Now that's a big card, let's go ahead and use our other spell stone. Thank you for the Warlock healing, we're back to 28. We're back to 32, if I really want to. Uh, Skull of the Minar, a really good card to play here. I've got the Doom Guard coming out. This Tempo Rogue has gotten completely out tempoed. I've stabilized, healed the full. Uh, when I pull this Doom Guard, I can play Spirit Singer Umbra and Can Carnivorous Cubit, and then just pow, uh, hit him for 15. Since I don't have the Dark Pact in my hand, I can't Dark Pact the cube, but if I did, that'd be 25 damage. The Lich King stands in my way. A big card like that is about the only thing that could have stopped my rampage. But I'm at full, we can kind of chill for a moment. We'll still do this. It's less good when the Doomguard doesn't get to attack into anything first, but 
we're still getting four Doom Guards. So, can't really complain. Now the ritual isn't usually that effective against uh, these types of tempo decks, which is why you only do it when it's at your leisure. But against control decks, uh, rushing out this ritual and getting Azari to destroy their deck could be very, very good. And Bowen actually still has 16 cards in their deck, and I'm running a little bit low on cards, so this could be my Rin condition right here. Uh, usually the Rin condition win condition is just to get the doom guards out and hit his face with it again or to have so many void lords out that they can never get past they exhaust their hand wow that looks pretty good also let's just go ahead and win with this so many different ways to win also i have lethal by hitting him in the face and then twisting nethering my own carnivorous cube that's a lot of void lords uh, doom guards and a void lord that's a lot of value cheers to this deck